Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our region's business, improving our economy, creating jobs, and strengthening communities. Innovation, collaboration, transformation, and the people making it happen. Join us as we take a closer look at our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, we're talking robots. Not this little toy robot here that kids are going to have under the tree tomorrow morning. We're talking about real robots in the real world that are kind of changing the way we interact with technology. Along the way today, we're also going to hear about a local startup that's rescuing food and putting it in the hands of hungry people. And we'll tally up the cost of all those gifts in that famous song, The 12 Days of Christmas. But first, Bossa Nova Robotics, a Pittsburgh startup that's begun to deploy shelf-scanning robots in big box retail. And Sergeant Scaff is back with us. He's co-founder and CTO of Bossa Nova. Welcome, good to have you. Thank you very much, glad to be here. Yeah, this is pretty sophisticated stuff. We sh should mention though, because we had Bossa Nova on the program many years ago. That's right. And you were actually starting out making toy robots, a lot more sophisticated than this one for sure, but that's kind of where you got your start, right? That's right, that's right. So we did we did robot toys in the first half-life, if you will, of, uh, of Bossa Nova. And now our toys have grown, both in size, complexity, um, and we're deploying them in retail stores. So uh, what we're doing now is, we're scanning products on shelves uh, with uh, fully autonomous robots. Maybe uh, one way to think about them is like indoor self-driving cars. Mm -hmm. And we take high resolution pictures of every product and then we use AI to analyze what's on the shelf and what's missing. And we inform the store when they, whenever they have out of stock, whenever um, the price is incorrect, and we tell them where the location of the products are. But the whole idea here, this is not something that has to happen in the middle of the night. These no. robots can be sharing the aisles with all of us when we're shopping? That's very, very exciting for us because um, absolutely, yes, we're, we're deploying robots during business hours around shoppers. Shoppers are encountering them um, every day, and it's very, very exciting uh, for one because the robots are being exposed to so many people and people in return are also figuring out how they behave around robots. Uh, but also from the business side, the retailers need the robots to be there just before the next wave of shoppers. So we cannot just do it at night, we have to do it you know, before breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Inventory's changing all day long, all day right? Long. What's available on the That's shelf? Right. And, th and the difference is, I mean, these are not like, obviously this is a toy, but there's no uh, robot engineer walking around behind this thing with a remote control, right? They're Correct. like it's really they're autonomous. They're fully autonomous. They have a bubble of safety around them. They detect all obstacles with 3D, with 3D sensors. Uh, don't touch, don't collide into people, don't touch anything. So they're very, very safe. And they also know where they are, they know where to go, and they know what to scan. Wow, and so it's really a step above. I mean, we're also proud here in Pittsburgh of our self-driving cars right. that we're seeing on the streets. But there you've got at least two guys in every vehicle, uh, two people keeping it yeah. safe. Um, yeah. This is the next level of autonomy in some ways. Right? Yeah, being indoors simplifies a little bit the problem. You know, we're not we're not barreling down at 60 miles an hour and, and risk killing anyone. Uh, the robot moves in, in, in a very paced uh, speed. And with with that safety all around it, it is it is safe to have the humans removed from it. Hmm. Now, so how did you make the switch from <laughs> doing the toy thing to then the company saying, no, there's really a big opportunity in scanning shelves in retail stores? Yeah, so we, we always wanted to put robots into people's lives, and toys were kind of this, the beginning for us. And we wanted to go higher technology, higher end, because it played better to our robotics roots and, and the engineers and the scientists uh, we had on staff. And uh, when we knocked on the door of retailers, um, asking them whether they would want robots around people, they are the ones who guided us towards that inventory problem that they wanted to fix. Mm -hmm. And so it was really an eye-opening event for us. And uh, by giving them eyes on the shelf, we allow them to dramatically improve uh, the efficiency of the store and therefore better serve their customers. And so their challenge had to be having enough people all the time, yes. checking the shelves on a regular enough basis, yes. and then the monotony of yes. trying to see how many cans of soup are there here yeah. and how many boxes of that over there. It's a little bit counterintuitive. You would think that uh, what comes from the truck and what sells from the front of the store, 
you do the you, you do the subtraction and you know what's left in the store it turns out you have tens of thousands of products coming in every night through the trucks and you're fighting the clock to put them on the shelf and every time a human touches the product um, they can make a mistake and those mistakes accumulate and the inventory system actually uh, gets distorted so what we do by putting um, cameras on products and eyes on the shelf is we really help them improve the accuracy of the inventory and you can think about shoppers actually picking up a product and then changing their mind and then putting it somewhere else or children actually messing around with the shelves sure well yes. and uh, yeah and, and and i imagine because the the margins are so thin in retail Correct. yes that just a little bit out of kilter can bit. can really add up over time absolutely and and right now retail is really uh, going towards this omni-channel experience where you buy online you pick up in the store well if you bought it online and they promise you that you will find it and you go to the store and not find it you're gonna be very upset so they are uh, really very keen on knowing what's in the store and what's not so that they can open up this new wave of retail well I hadn't thought about that integration yeah. with the online presence right. and being able to use the stores to sort of be the warehouse and hold the inventory but for they example. gotta know that for sure that the product is That's sitting right. there so where are you deploying these how far are you right now in terms of commercializing this? so uh, we announced that we're deploying 50 stores with Walmart and that's going very very well and uh, this all over the country hmm. we're East Coast West Coast centered everywhere that's amazing, yes. which means that from your small operation here in Pittsburgh, and I guess your headquarters is in San Francisco on the yes. West Coast, you're going to have to have more people, I would assume, if you're oh, doing yes. nationwide. Yes, yeah. yes, absolutely. Uh, so we're, we're well capitalized. We announced that we raised about four, $41 million so far, and we are rapidly growing. And uh, we're looking for all kinds of talent, uh, particularly in robotics, autonomy, uh, artificial intelligence, cloud, uh, hardware, software, you name it. And if I may, if I may have one plug, I think it's exciting to work for us because um, unlike some self-driving cars, our robots are deployed now. Mm -hmm. So there is a direct impact, an immediate impact for that work. That's really exciting. Well, yes. hopefully you'll find plenty of people who will want to do this kind of work right here in Pittsburgh. It is so cool that you guys started here and you're building this uh, business uh, out of our region. Sarjun Skaff from uh, Bossa Nova Robotics. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you very you. much. Next up, using technology to rescue food and feed the hungry. And yes, there's an app for that. Stay with us. <laughs>